Hi, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm gonna be looking the same in the next three videos. I wanna hear it down below. I film them all on the same day because your girl works during the week. So let's get on to the video. So I thought it would be a cool topic. I normally try to stay away from negative, controversial stuff or surrounding K-pop just because honestly it's not good for your mental health and it's not good in general so actually today we are gonna i'm gonna step outside of my comfort zone and i am going to talk about controversial topics in k-pop and the way that i'm going to go about this is i'm just going to google it and whatever pops up pops up and I'll talk about maybe three topics and that's just it and I'll give my view on it as a baby k-pop fan but before we get started go ahead like the video subscribe and if you want to see uh, and if you want if you want to see more of me definitely hit that bell button if you like this content because yeah, I'll be po I post at least one video um, a week on Monday, that's what I'm committing myself to, but I do have the goal of at least releasing three videos a week. If I don't release three videos a week, I only get two out. I don't put pressure on myself. I do work. I do YouTube as, I do YouTube for fun. I just like filming. I like content creation. And so I'm not doing this, you know, for anything else. So that is that so we're gonna go ahead and search this up and i'm gonna show you guys a little thing's gonna pop up and you're going to see me on my google home screen yeah 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 i'm trying to hurry this up because jackson is gonna be doing coachella and i think they said he goes on stage around 6 45 or somewhere around that time so i was actually 6 45 pst which this will be in the past because it's the it, it, you guys would know this, but it's actually live on YouTube, so I do want to watch it. There's a couple other artists too that 88 Rising has. They have Millie. If you don't know Millie, Millie did a song with um, Chang Ben of Stray Kids. So um, if you guys don't know that, she did. Um, so definitely go and check that video out. But I'm just gonna go here, trusty Dusty here, and do control. It's about controversial K-pop topics. So I'm just gonna go to the most controversial K-pop topics and opinions here. We're actually gonna go to Cura. I like to use Cura a lot. So let's see, let's pick a topic here. Jisoo isn't meant to be an idol. I don't, I don't see that. I'm not commenting on that because if you train hard, here we go. Okay, let's go with this controversial topic here. Let's 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 go with this one, I guess. Jisoo isn't meant to be an idol. If you train so hard in singing and dancing, you are meant to be there. She, even though you may think her contribution to the group is not as big as the other members, maybe you think um, she doesn't sing the best in the group or whatever. She trained just as much as everybody else did at YG Entertainment and happened to debut in a four person girl group. How many girl groups are debuting today with four people in it? I'll wait because I haven't seen one since Blackpink and I wasn't even there for Blackpink's, um, Blackpink's debut. So saying that she isn't meant to be an idol or she shouldn't be an idol is is wrong because she made it just like everybody else and if she didn't want to do it she wouldn't have done it in the first place you know so at the end of the day apparently apparently they said that, they said that she debuted to be it she wanted to be an actress but it ended up in music she could still do acting she could still do acting most idols do both so it's not like she doesn't have she can't do both um but saying that she is not meant to be an idol or she shouldn't have been an idol i think it's kind of lackluster honestly at this point 
Um, let's go. Not every single song needs a rap part. I'm going to have to agree. I'm gonna have to agree with this because there are some songs in here in, in k but that I hear and the rap part comes on and it's out of place. It's almost like they switch the song around so much just to fit that rap song. And I hear it a lot like sometimes in Twice's songs. Um, and they did use the example here as Psycho. Yes, I don't know. I think I like the rap portion in Psycho a lot. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like I like the rap portion in Psycho. I don't know what they're talking about Psycho. I don't know about Psycho in, in particular, but there are some songs out there that I'm just like, yo, you could just skip the rap part. Like, 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 like everybody say, like, like, like whatever. Um, let's scroll. Um, I prefer Nam June's rapping over Yoongi's. I mean, it's not really controversial. I mean, if you like, like, you may like one rapper style over another one. I mean, that's not really a controversial topic. <laughs> Armies are the worst fandoms, not late. I honestly think any part of a fandom can be toxic. And the bigger your fandom gets, the more toxic people you are going to have in your fandom. As of right now, BTS is does have a bigger fandom than Blackpink does. So honestly, there are going to be more toxic people. Um, it does not necessarily mean the fandom is the worst. I mean, I haven't heard of our fandom sending period blood to people or trying to poison the members of our group with orange juice and sending and have, make, making them have PTSD. Yes, I mean, maybe it may be K-pop stand, but I know some shit. And I don't think we've done any of that. I can say there are people out there who are toxic. And honestly, a lot of people just get on the internet to troll. They may not even be an army. They may not even be a blink. They may not even be a carrot. They may not be a super, you know, I don't know what Super Junior's fandom name. They may, they, you, they may not even be a part of the group, but they just love creating drama. And so what they do is they just find the biggest group or whatever, the biggest topic that's arguing right now and just join a side like any mini mini mo, and just decide to be toxic. And honestly, sometimes I think that does happen. I think people forget how toxic the internet is when you're behind. You know, when you're behind a picture of an idol or a cartoon picture and you're using, you know, Tay, Kim Tay's Bay 216 and you don't know who they are and they're using the VPN, you don't know who's really behind that. You don't know, you know? And so at the end of the day, I think honestly, the bigger your fandom is, the more toxic fans you are going to have in that fandom. It just comes along with stardom. It comes along with getting bigger is that um, you are going to attract people who are not the greatest. And you, me, I can't control every army out there. I, I cannot, it's not going to do it. You, you can't, people are gonna do whatever they want to do. Just as much as every blink is not gonna be able to control every blink out there. It's just, it's just unrealistic to say you can police yourself. You really can't. The only thing you can do is call out these people and try to get them out of the fandom, but they're not gonna go anywhere. Just as much, like if they haven't committed a crime, I mean, it, it's just unrealistic. So do I think ARMY is the worst fandom? No, I don't think there is a worst fandom. I just think the bigger your fandom gets, the more toxic people join your fandom. Uh, and honestly, as of right now, armies are bigger than Blink. And it has to do just with BTS's, um, you know, worldwide recognition. Um, and not only just in K-pop or anything like that, they've really broken that wall that um, some K-pop acts just seem to get stuck behind. Um, and they really, and they attract toxic people, like people, you know, just, 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 just as much as there are bad people in every industry you can go in, um, uh, acting, wrestling, sports, you don't 
sit there and say because one fan is acting and behaving a way then all the fans are that way it just doesn't work like that you can go out and say oh all cowboy fans are toxic no they just may have a bigger fan group than other people which means people there are going to be more toxic people inside it just doesn't mean that one is worse than the other it's more of if army and blinks were on the same level as far as recognition around the world i'm pretty sure it would be neck and neck and honestly i see a lot of this you know i just see a lot of people just being toxic in general for no reason you know um i was on a video watching a video of nct and i think um if i'm not mistaken they were on the kelly something show um and they were performing i think favorite and i was like oh my god it's such a good performance and i was and i liked it and i went down the comment section and there's someone mentioning bts and how a fandom could never because the comment section i'm like what's the point of mentioning bts at all on an nct video that has nothing to do with bts like there are toxic people and i honestly think that good people who don't even mean to be toxic can be toxic with the statement that they make like if this is an nct video talk about nct why are we talking about bts why are we talking about blackpink why are we talking about twice this is an nct video we are talking about nct when i'm watching wavy i'm not thinking about bts you know what i'm saying so are they worse i don't think it i think they're just the biggest and that's just that. And as you guys know, negative people tend to be the loudest people out there. Um, so I'm shipping to stop. I don't ship. I don't really have much. It sees music is boring. I don't think it's boring. I think they're really unique. Um, I really like their music. They are, you know, a younger group. So I would love to see where they go in the future see where they get to but i kind of like that they are separate and this person said that she's she was wrong <laughs> but whatever i i don't think it's these music is boring now, i don't know if that's controversial but um fans ruin idols relationships not dispatch yes one of the things that I found that were that's weird is that fans get like overly sensitive about idols dating. Like here, when I saw Beyonce and Jay Z were getting married, yes, go clean, go off. Like I would want them to live a life. I want them to get married. I want them to have kids. I want them to live their life. I separate the artist from my personal life. Like. Even though I say, okay, J-Hope is my bias, I'm never realistically in my head thinking that I have a chance to marry J-Hope. And also I don't get a possessiveness over someone I've never met, which is so weird to me. I mean, I mean you have people like that in every, you know, every genre. I think it's talked more about in K-pop just to, because of the culture and the fan surface that celebrities have to give to their fans because for some reason they created this unhealthy, relationship with your fans where it's almost like you're in a relationship with your fans which i think is just on like i think it's toxic um like i know i've heard a couple times where taylor swift had had um stalkers or like rihanna had stalkers but we see those people as weird you're weird you want to marry taylor swift you're weird you're really weird like okay i think honestly K-pop in and of itself is the reason why you get more and more crazy people like this who think that their favorite idol is theirs. Like you don't have possessiveness over a person and what they do. They have the right to live their life and do whatever they want to do and live their life. Like I think anyone who thinks, oh, that's mine or that's my man, no get out of here but yes i do agree fans ruin idols not dispatch dispatch only exasperates the issue but fans really do ruin do ruin um 
Some K-pop fans could be really insensitive when it comes to Korean culture and history. I don't think so. I think it's the other way around. I think some Korean companies and Korean idols can be very insensitive to other cultures. I think that's the problem here because I think in most part, most people respect Korean culture or even love Korean culture. And cultural appropriation, yes, is there. Um, racist slurs or remarks. I don't, like, I don't think you see that as a K-pop fan. If you're a K-pop fan, I don't think you see a lot of the fans being racist towards Koreans I, I, or Korean culture. Cultural cultural appropriation, maybe because you get those Korea boos out there and stuff like that, and those crazy people. But I honestly think it's more of the other way around where I think a lot of Korean companies and the Korean idols are very insensitive to other culture. So I think that's that. And I'm gonna leave it there. I think really more um, here, so let's go back. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's go here. Fans who call BTS the kings are wrong. <sighs> Let me try to be a little bit sensitive to this topic because even though I love Shiny and I did experience my first Big Bang comeback with Still Life. They're like the predecessor, you know? Like you always have the people that paved the way initially, but they never are the people that are given the proper recognition. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's think of it like Michael Jackson. We call him the King of Pop. But there's absolutely no way that Michael Jackson would have been able to be who he is and do what he needed to do if there weren't people before him that gave him that ability. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people call him the king of pop. And, and honestly, I can't think really of anybody else that would really take that title because he was just so good at what he did but you have to understand as people get older as people who knew these people get older and they no longer exist these people are going to be coming up i mean think of beyonce beyonce the queen queen b you know the queen of pop music beyond there are there people before her there were people that they that came up before beyonce that Gave, it made it easier for Beyonce to be Beyonce. And that's what I think. Do I? So I think when I think when people call BTS kings, I just think their recognition more rather than their music. Because Shiny has good music. I'm pretty sure Big Bang has good music. I'm pretty sure BTS all, they all have great music. And I'm pretty sure BTS has been, has been inspired by those two, two groups that came before them. I'm pretty sure. Um, but at the same time, people who are labeled the kings or the icons aren't always necessarily the best of the best or um, people who think, I'm pretty sure when Michael Jackson was coming up, people probably thought that there was someone else before him. And I can't think of anyone before Michael Jackson, but guess what? I'm pretty sure there, are, there, there were people before Michael Jackson that paved the way for Michael Jackson to be Michael Jackson. Cause you can't be the king of something, especially as an African American back in that time frame without somebody paving the way for you you know um as far i think as far as it come as worldwide recognition yes but of course in korea i think it's a different ball game there i think people really do appreciate shiny and big bang and understand that bts um admire them and probably has taken inspiration from them as artists have done and will always do because I'm pretty sure they grew up looking at these people and aspiring to be them and now they've surpassed 
whatever Shiny and Big Bang did, but BTS were inspired by these people who were doing it before them, even though they've surpassed shiny and big bang as far as you know worldwide recognition when you talk about k-pop but um there's there's no bts if there's no big bang if there's no shiny if there's no super junior if there is no other k-pop legends to come before them there is no bts so i think if you're talking worldwide, yes, BTS are the kings. As far as when it comes to K-pop, they are the face of K-pop. If you are in America and you mention K-pop to somebody, they are thinking of BTS. And probably second, Blackpink. They are not thinking of Big Bang. They are not thinking of Shine. I'm talking about a random person on the street who loves music, who loves listening listen to entertainment, because not everybody's gonna be listening to entertainment, et cetera, et cetera. People need to get out of their head sometimes. But if you stop a random person on the street who happens to listen to a lot of music, a lot of entertainment, not just the Grammys, all types of stuff like that, if you say, who is the biggest group in K-pop? They're gonna say BTS because that's all they know. You know what I'm saying? But as far as K-pop in and of itself and in Korea, I think that it's a little bit different when you get to Korea and South Korea, you do have all these different bands and all these different groups and solo artists and just all this other stuff that came before BTS. But when you're looking so far as a outsider looking in who may not know anything about K-pop, it is BTS. BTS is K-pop to them. When they think of K-pop, they think of BTS. But when you're into K-pop and you understand K-pop, you know who Big Bang is, you know who Shiny is, you know who Super Junior is, you know who EXO is, you know all these people. And so it's very difficult for you to be like, BTS the kings of K-pop because you know there is no BTS if there's no Shiny, if there's no Big Bang, if, if there's no people that came before them. Just as if like there's no Black Pink without 21. You know what I'm saying? Like there are people before them that that helped them be who they were or who they got inspiration from. So honestly, I don't want to talk about this over and over again, but as far as K-pop goes on a worldwide scale, yes, BTS are kings. As K-pop goes, if you know K-pop and know the intricacies and maybe even just living in South Korea, it's definitely not BTS. You would definitely be looking at different groups and depending on who you're talking to, um, you know, you may see other people, um, um, say different things. But as far as worldwide, I think most of the time, most armies are focusing on worldwide. I don't think nobody's, I don't think nobody in their right minds thinks that BTS are the king of K-pop when it comes to South Korea. I think it's more like worldwide. Um, let's see. Let's look at one more thing. And let's see. I'm trying to like stay away from things that are just personal opinions because uh, those are not very controversial. If I don't like a song that is personal to me, it's not a controversial topic. Um, Lisa Blackpink should never be considered a rapper? You know what? That kind of gets into like a bigger thing that I've, I've seen being discussed about idol rappers and real rap. Kind of my opinion out there a little bit. I think disproportionately there are more worst girl group rappers than there are boy group rappers. And I'm not even going to try to even really even, well, maybe I'll dive a little bit into it, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm African American. Um, I'm from America. So that means that I grew up in, in a household that experienced rap culture and what rap is. Um, I actually took a music class in college. Um, so I'm a little bit more diverse on just uh, music in general. And I've also watched tons of documentaries on just 
how rap was started, what rap is, and what is. Do not cancel me for this, but Lisa is not. Lisa's not a good rapper. And I'm not saying that at the lyrics that she raps are not good because um I love La Lisa. I love money. Don't get me wrong, but Lisa does not write any of her music. So I just don't really consider her a real rapper. And this is me coming from the outside looking in. In order to be like a real rapper in my eyes, instead of just like a performance rapper, as I'm gonna call it, you have to write your own music or participate in the writing of your own music um, and etc. Because that is what rap is. Rap, you don't have high vocals like Mariah Carey. You know, you don't have anything else but your writing skills and your ability to put words and lyrics together with the meaning. And I haven't seen Lisa being credited on any song that she's been rapping on. So no, do I see Lisa as a real rapper? It does not necessarily mean that I hate the song that she's on or the raps in the song that she's on. Sometimes the English portions of the raps can be a little bit weird because I don't know if you guys seen my, um, seen my um, review of the XG girls, Extraordinary Girls, and how they use AAVE in their song. And I think you all know my position on people using AAVE. Um, and if you don't, I'm not really offended by it if they're using it in a song, um, etc. I'm more offended by it if they use it as a mock great type situation um but i've only ever seen it with like one or a couple idols i haven't really seen that much um and i would rather it be correct and a lot of times and that's not on lisa this is on the writers lisa raps incorrect aave and she isn't the only one i'm just using her kind of like as an example um but sh there are many instances where you know idols are I was not using correct AAVE, and if you're gonna use it, make sure at least it's correct. Like I said in my other video, which I will link, um, it's AAVE is not in proper English. It, is ha it has sentence structures. It is proper English. It is recognized as proper English. So I'm telling you that sometimes in her rap, she's using incorrect AAVE. Um, and she does not write any of her raps. I mean, I looked at the credits of of La Lisa and of I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of La Lisa. I've looked at the credits for um, for money. I don't if from my remembrance, if I haven't looked at it recently, of course. Um, um, but I don't think she is credited on any of it at all. Show credits. Yeah, she's not credited as a writer or a producer. She is just performing it. So she is what I would call a performance rapper. She does not write her own music. She's not a rapper rapper. And that just is what it is. Like I, It does not mean that I don't enjoy the music. It does not mean that I hate the artist. It does not mean that um, I hate the rap. Um, that's on an individual basis. It does not mean that I don't think that they're a good performer because you can be a good performer. I just don't look at them as rappers. I just don't. Um, and there's a lot of that in K-pop where you just shove somebody into a role um, and expect them to be that. I don't think she is a real rapper. I'm not gonna go into like all the detail that the other person did because they kind of like, they said she was annoying. And I don't, I don't wanna say she's annoying, so, so to speak. I just think that um, some, whoever's writing her raps, um, they're not sitting next to someone who's black and doing it. Um, or they're changing it after the fact. Um, and 
Like for me, I look at people like, I'm gonna use BTS as an example. I look at RM as like a real rapper. Like he writes and he raps. Like I look at him as a real rapper. So you can look at what the difference is between Lisa and RM is that RM is gonna RM is going to notice when something is grammatically incorrect. Like Lisa, I don't think she would notice. She would just be like, given the song, if it sounds nice, she just goes ahead and sings it, doesn't realize that, hey, the sentence that you're saying is incorrect. But RM, on the other hand, is going to notice that because he actually is um, um, involved in writing and producing BTS music. Um, um, and I, I just, there are some people out there that I just don't see as real rappers. Like if you're not, like I look up credits. I look up credits. I will look, I will see who's writing. And if I see the artist names there, I like it 100% and thousands percent better than anything. Stray Kids, Han, Changbin, um, our, our writers, producers, um, Chan, even though Chan's not really rapper, he's a singer. Um, even now with Felix and Hunjin actually getting writing credits, but I know that they've been working on that for a while. So I knew that, hey, they were gonna get their chance to actually write something or put something into the album, but Stray Kids is really, really, really like self-produced. So um, do I consider her a real rapper? No, I consider her more of a performance rapper. And that's just coming from my background of being in hip hop, growing up in hip hop. I'm in a place of the country where hip hop was born. That I'm harsher. But when it comes to K-pop, like my opinion is gonna be harsher, but when it comes to K-pop, I do relax it just a little bit because I understand the culture around K-pop and how a lot of times it is very manufactured. Um, even though someone may have it factored to debut and to be a star, they may not lack, they may lack the creative side you know i think if they thought that lisa was a good singer um she would be a singer but for some reason k-pop groups think that ev like, like every group has to have a rapper and honestly i don't think every group needs to have a rapper i don't understand that concept but that's a whole nother controversial topic but do but people like Lisa and artists like Lisa, I just don't see them as real rappers. I see them as performative, performative rappers. And that's that. So that is all my controversial opinions as a baby K-pop stand on some controversial topics um, in K-pop. Um, I want to let let me know down below of the topics that I did talk about or that I did explain. Let me know your opinion. Let me know how you guys feel. Let me know like if you agree, if you don't disagree. I'm all about conversation. You know, I'm never the one to be upset. Like I love conversation. I love debate. I'm a person who just loves to learn and evolve. And I think the only way that you learn and evolve as a person is through conversation. Um, I think no matter how much you go to school, no matter how much you learn, no matter how much you read in the textbook or an article, I don't think, I think conversation is the best place and best way to learn and to share differences of opinion. And I love having those type of conversations. Um, and if you like this type of content, let me know. I can definitely do a part two um, um, of, you know, my opinions, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but if you do like that, definitely like, comment, subscribe, let me know. I want to know what is, let me know what is your most, what is your unpopular opinion? And let it be an actual unpopular opinion. I don't want it to be you feel or I feel like I hate this song or this group has the best vocals because 
everyone's different. Music is a very personal thing. Music is very subjective and you cannot expect everyone to like or think this person is the best singer or this person is the best singer. I'm pretty sure there's people out there who debate whether Mariah Carey is the best singer or Whitney Houston is the best singer. And I'm pretty sure you can get people on both sides of that. So I don't want stuff like that. I want real unpopular opinions that shake things up that you know that can have a real good debate about that in the, in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one because Jackson is going on stage in about 20 minutes and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Put your body on the kitchen table and move the dishes to the side.